I'm Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, I want to show you my method for dialing in the new Dynacabs in the latest Axe FX3 beta release. I'm going to be using the front panel for this entire video, and I would encourage you to play along with your own rig if you're trying out this beta firmware. Let's dive straight into it. If you want to know more about these cabs, I have a video up on my channel, which I'll link in the video description. Otherwise, Let's go. Let's take a very quick look at the preset that I've got in here. It's very straightforward, just an input block into the looper, an amp, a cab, and then a reverb, which I have bypassed. That is then going to output one. It's going straight into my audio interface and into Pro Tools with no post-processing. So what I've done is I've prepared a little loop in here already. It's kind of trimmed the start and the end, so it's a little more pleasant to listen to. I've got the amp at my preferred settings in here, so bass turned down a little bit, mid turned up a bit on the ODS-100 clean and a bit of extra gain. The reverb, remember, was bypass. So let's go over to the cab block. I've got the Dynacab, the cab block is at its stock settings. So it's just the one by 10 BF prints with a condenser, distance is zero, level is zero, the position is on the cap. Just out of curiosity, let's have a listen to what this sounds like. <laughs> Not quite where I want it. The first step for me is going to choose a microphone type that I know I like, in this case with clean sound. So I'm actually gonna change this to be the ribbon microphone type. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the loop and I'm just gonna scroll through different cabs until I hear a cab tone that's in the ballpark of what I'm after. I'll play the loop and we'll do that. <laughs> happy with that rumble cab right there. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to populate cab slot two and cab slot three with that same rumble cab. I'm then going to set one of these rumble cab types to the dynamic and the other to condenser. Cab two and cab three are muted at the moment. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play around with the distance parameter and the position parameter to dial in the first microphone. One handy little tip you can think about the position parameter is going to move the microphone away from the speaker cap. So generally, it's going to make it sound a little bit darker. It's kind of like a high cut control. And then the distance, the closer you get to the speaker, you're going to get a proximity effect with extended low ends. So you can kind of think of the distance as your low cut. Of course, they're far more complicated and rich sounding than a simple low cut or high cut. They've got their own character as we move the position. So we also want to listen, but it's a good guide to use high cut for position and low cut as distance. It's kind of guides if you're hearing, for example, too much low end or not enough high end, you know which of these two parameters to tweak. So I'm going to play the loop and we're going to do that. <laughs> So I'm pretty happy with that so far. You could see there was kind of a sweet spot in between about three and four on the position and then somewhere less than five centimeters for the distance. What we're gonna do now is mute that cab and we're gonna repeat that process for the dynamic mic and the condenser mic on the same cab. Let's go.
I'm pretty happy with each of those. What I've got now are the three different microphone choices on that cab that I liked dialed in. The next step is going to be to play around with blending them. I'm going to have a listen to some different combinations. I quite like the ribbon mic as my main microphone on this particular tone. So I'm going to start with that one on. I'll just try add the dynamic or the condenser and see which one I prefer out of those. And then once I've made a decision there, I will blend in that other microphone using the level control. Let's go. <laughs> about this approach is at this stage I'm just purely relying on my ears. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to play my guitar so that you can hear this with something aside from that loop. The next step here is to leave this mic combination. I'm pretty happy with the cab selection and the mic selection on there. I would move over to the cab block preamp tab and I would tweak the low cut and the high cut controls just to kind of bring this more into a range which doesn't have too much extended low end or too much fizzy high end on there, but it's sounding pretty good at the moment. I could probably happily play this without the low and the high cuts. They're just gonna be icing on the cake. <laughs> Again, just twisting the knobs until it sounds good. I'm really happy with that as a sweet clean tone with my Strat. I'm gonna kick the Rich Hall reverb in and just play a little bit more for you. I'm gonna give you an example now in real time for a kind of hard rock, higher gain tone. I'll do the exact same process where I first find a cab in one slot, then I populate the other slots with the different microphone choices. I go in and dial in the positions and the distances, and then I pick my two favorite mics and I blend them. Let's go. <laughs> Doesn't take very long at all. I'm pretty happy with that combination of amp and 
and cab. Again, I'm going to add some reverb, this time the London plate, and I'll put my amp settings on the screen for you there. Let's hear that. <laughs> As I said at the start of the video, I would highly encourage you to try this approach when trying out the new Dyna cabs. Get a looper going, try to audition a bunch of different amp and cab combinations and see where you end up using that method of first selecting the cab, then your favorite microphone, populating the other cab slots with a different mic choice, and finally dialing in each mic and blending them. It's a great way to get a tone set up quickly using all the built-in ingredients of the Axe FX3. If you've got any other questions, let me know in the comments section below. Otherwise, I'll see you next week for another Tuesday Tone Tip. Enjoy!